बरोबर प्लानिंग एज पर अवर टीचिंग स्टाईल सो दिस इज द रिव्हिजन सेशन ऑफ लास्ट टू व्हिडिओज विच बी कवर्ड इन द प्ले लिस्ट द ऑपरेटर्स सो दिस इज द रिव्हिजन सेशन फॉर दॅट दीज टू व्हिडिओज आर देअर इन द लिस्ट राईट so in this two videos we covered all the operators so that operator we will discuss in this video guys so don't waste your time just to start the revisions so now again welcome to ITSP technology so this is our topics which we covered in the last session so this is the revision session here i am not showing any practical just take uh, notes okay here you can go mm -hmm. in this group in this group just send me the request then you get the notes please send me the request okay if you want notes of all the classes so let's start so today is it's division session so increment and decrement operator arithmetic operators st string concatenation relation operator equality operators instance of operators bitwise operator short circuit operators and as well as type cast operators assignment operators and conditional operators 12 number is new operators to create the object and this is the array bracket operators precedence of java operators evaluation order of java operands new instance new instance method and new instance variable and new instance is instance method okay so now this is the increment and decrement learn take a pen to your different color or so okay yes so here increment and decrement we have two type of increment post increment and uh, pre increment and post increment right then post increment is nothing first evaluate then increment but here is the first increment then evaluate then thing i have shown in the example check that videos just here i explaining theory parts okay now here you can see that example this example i have shown him in last videos you can go and watch please if you want to learn on the theory then it's sufficient to you understanding for purpose it's a sufficient video for you so now so here as x plus plus means first is this is that uh, x equals to x plus y right so when you perform plus plus x then you will get first increment the y then y value will become increase okay then x value is also will increase but when we perform the post post increment y value will not increase but x value will increase after that increment it will assign to that x right but y value is same at that static point of the and uh, decrement is same here like first is decrease the y value also here and then x value is same as y and performing the post decrement then plus 10 is value first x value is 10 when you perform the by assign to that by is 10 but after that assigning x value will become 9 after that assigning here you exit first this value assigned to the by variable after that this value will increase means x value will become this is the next expression for that x value will become x value will become 11 not a y value y value is only 10 right 
so these are the basic example you can check first is x value is 4 right 4 then y equals to plus plus x then x value will increase x value will increase means x value will become 5 right then y value is assigned to that y is 5 right then value is 5 perfectly here you can see post increment na? first is increment here is same example here but here we are doing something else because this is the constant it is not allowed here only the variables is allowed i think it's clear increment and decrement operator we can apply only for the variable not for the constant right so that's why this is allowed but this is not allowed right? And next, we can't perform nesting of increment and decrement. Like that, it is not allowed in Java nesting increment and decrement. Nesting increment and decrement, post decrement, post increment and pre decrement and pre increment is not allowed nesting. So, third point is we final variable, we can't increment and decrement also in the final variable this is the final variable in the java final means we cannot modify that value so that means increment and decrement is not allowed fourth is we can apply increment and decrement of prefer even primitive data types except boolean and also we cannot apply increment and decrement in that boolean other than that boolean we can apply it by its sort in flow double Whatever integral and floating point value is there, we can apply that. Okay. So this is the example here. When we applying this Boolean take V plus plus, then we get error. Right. And here, if we applying any automatic operator between two operands, right? Between two operands A and B, then result will become integer, right? Bigger uh, if you perform like double. First operand is double, second operand, and operand is in int and made up that uh, plus sign is there. So then that output will become double. Like it will take a bigger value, right? Correct. So this is that. Okay. So this is the difference between this. It's the two operands here, and that value will become int. Right. You cannot assign to int into byte that way. Here you can see byte 10 and byte b. And here a plus b we can assign into that not not a possible why because it's operant when we are performing two operant arithmetic operation, this will take an integer value. Integer you cannot assign, you can type cast into byte, then it can assign that value. Right. Okay. In case of increment, in case of increment and decrement operator, internally type casting will perform right. Internally type casting is performed. It means when we perform like B plus plus here, you can see means B plus plus B equals to type of B. B is type of B like B plus one type casting. When we without type casting, we cannot assign that. We cannot assign into the same variable because the type casting is happening inside the internal, okay, not external. If you want to assign like a plus b, this is the two operands, right? These are two operands as the byte, and you are trying to assign into the byte. This is the other thing. This is not a decrement and increment, but if you are using plus plus b, okay, then means this is. 1 plus b, right? 1 plus b means this is do two operations and internally it will take byte. Right? Whatever data type is required, it will internally type that. Okay. So now automatic operators we have. Okay. If we any automatic operators between two variables a and b, okay, type is always max int type of right? Here you can see byte plus byte output is int. Byte sort output is int. Sort byte output is int. 
But here you can do short plus long. Output is long. Double a plus float. This output is float. Int and double output is double. Care and care is double. Care and int is double. Care plus double is double. Right? It will take a bigger value. Bigger data types. Here you can see what is that care is care. Taking 97 and 98. 97, 98, it will 195. Output will get. So this is that. So here the some more examples are there. You can uh, 17 point integral arithmetic byte and sort. Byte and sort. There is a no way to represent. There is no way to represent, right? Infinity. If infinity is the result, we will get an arithmetic expression. Right? We will get an arithmetic expression divided by zero. Arithmetic exception is n a n p. We will get n a n also not a number. It will discuss system dot 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 zero infinity like main of the arithmetic word for that. For that, float and double classes contain the following constant like positive infinity and negative infinity hence if infinity is the result we want to get any arithmetic objection and points like that if you get like this it will get infinity output as the infinity output as the infinity here we won't get in the float and double in case of float and double as integer it will get arithmetic and nan means not a number in the integral arithmetic byte sort in law, there is a no way to represent undefined result. Hence, the result is undefined. We will get arithmetic. Arithmetic accepted internally. Okay. So for float double class container n a n, hence the undefined we won't get any arithmetic exception, floating point arithmetic exception, right? So for any x value including n a n, the following expression is written false. Divided by zero is the arithmetic exception. N A N means when, 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 like not equals to that numbers, right? Yeah, you can understand. Twenty one example, you can see ten is ten less than float dot A N A. Why? Because this is not a number. Okay. This is not a number. That's why it's returning false. Greater than also, less than also, less than equals to, greater than equals to, equals to, equals to. ENA float and ENA float is equals to not. It's also false. This is correct. Why? Because then not equals to float dot. But when you get a true, then this, when you want to get, then perform this operation. Now, yeah, arithmetic exceptions. It is the runtime exception, but not a compiled time errors. Runtime exception occur only when integral arithmetic, but not in floating point arithmetic. Any only operations which cause arithmetic exception, like only two operations, slash, divide, and percentile, we get the arithmetic exceptions. Uh, the runtime exception, but not compiled time. Possible only integral data type, correct. The only operator which is caused. Slash and percentile slash. Perfect. So now string concatenation is the only one thing is there. Plus operator sometime it's access arithmetic addition operator and sometime it's access string concatenation operations. It acts as the argument is a string type then plus operator acts a concatenation if both arguments are number type then operator act, act as argument it depends on argument if this is the string 
right and plus performing two then then a string two it's one for in a concatenation if you number like two plus two then what is the output of this two two this is the other represent as a string not a addition if you perform like two plus two then it will become a four right so here these two points are there related to these only so here you can see also some examples there some concatenation and chaining this is the initialization abc and you can go and check it here you can the a is the asok if you in that uh, initialization part a is there and other that value is before that before value is there then it will perform that concatenations right. relational operator now relational operator we can apply relational operator for every primitive type except boolean we cannot perform these operations with that boolean data type only either 10 a z true or false this will get a compiled type of that. but here you can perform here you can perform any relational operator you can perform here. like 10 uh, 10 is greater than 10 is less than 10 point five yes it's true 10 is less than 10 point five a is greater than 10 why because a value is 97 in the sky code is sky code is 97 that's why so these are some points we can't apply relational operator or object also string is the object in java we cannot apply that Now next is system dot uh, the same thing we cannot apply that object and nesting of relational operator is not nesting like that like that it is not allowed in Java right so now system dot out dot print and if you perform like this it will giving that error compiled and error equality operator you can see if you can uh, apply equality operator for every primitive type include including the boolean data types this is applied equality operators you can apply with that any operators any values any primitive data types also primitive including boolean also only boolean is not allowed in the relational Okay, in the relational database and arithmetic of database is not allowed. Other than that, it's allowed. Okay, that we can uh, equality operator for that object type also. R one, R two. When you perform, it is not taking the content. Just it will see that R one is pointing to this object and R two is pointing this object. Then this will become true right if r1 pointing to this object r1 r2 and r1 pointing to this object then it become false this is not pointing whatever inside this object doesn't matter okay just object comparison there is my pen okay to use equality operator between object type compulsory this should be this should be uh, some relational between argument type child of parent to parent to child right if you perform like t thread equals to equals to zero not uh, o, o false not relation yes o equals to equals to yes false yes equals to equals to t string and thread is there any relation not a relation okay that's why incompatible type thread is not a child uh, like parent relation between thread and string but in the object and string is uh, child relation is there 
and thread and object uh, parent child relation is there. That's why or I don't know. For any object reference, R equals to equals to null is always false, but R null equals to equals to null is always true. Right. What is the difference between okay here? This is the important interviewer ask. Simple. This pointing to that object reference. This is this is comparing the object reference, and this is comparing with the object content. Right here, you can see. And there's twenty eighth line. String S one equals to string ITSP. Right. String two is ITSP. If you perform S one equals to equals to S two. Then it will. What is that output? False would come. Why? Because this is pointing to two different objects. By using new operators, two different objects will create it. If you uh, perform dot equals, then it is same. And because content is same. So now instance operator, we can use instance operator to check whether the given an object particular type or not. Okay, R instance of x this is particular type of x object reference class or interface whatever you want to compare with that perform object o equals to l dot get zero l is an array name okay so o instance of a student is there any match if o is instance of a student then O become to student is perfectly valid. Okay. If this condition is true, if O is instance of a student, if not O instance of customer, then type class to customers. Like it's check perform. Like here one more, more explanation is there. So O instance of X here, O is object reference. X is class name, interface name. Like, like we have a thread. Thread is the class. Thread super class can implement runnable interface. Okay. The object. If you perform thread instance of T, like uh, thread instance of thread perfectly valid. If you perform T thread instance of object by because its relation is there between this, right? So that's why it's true. If you perform this instance, it's true. To use instance operator compulsory, there should be in some relation between argument type either child or parent or parent to child or some type otherwise we will get compile type error right that point i have told you some relation between there if you not relation is not there then it will compile time error like inconvenient like inconvertible times Whenever we are checking the parent object, it's child type or not by using instance operator that we get false. Right? If instance of here, you can see if zero instance of a string, zero instance of the string that it will not uh, object, not relation between this object and a string. That's why, if you can see. Now we will get instance of a string. Now it's a relation between them. Okay. So now for any class or interface, x null, then instance of x is always written false. Right? Perfect. Now here, bitwise operator important point we have two types of one is also 
second and bitwise bitwise is nothing it's uh, related to evaluation is happening here is checking a both argument then result will true okay and or if one is true then result will become true XOR. XOR is nothing but if any both are different, then result will do. Otherwise, it's good. Tyrus. So, same bitwise operator is nothing but performing the bit. Like if you pass the number, then it's the number converted to in binary number, then binary number to perform internally. Some conversion is happening. This is the photo I have chip <laughs> I have pasted here. You can just go through that. Yeah. So now next is bit by a bridget tilde tilde symbol also is there so now we can apply this operator only for the integral type but not for the boolean type okay, integral data type you can apply okay it's internally happen okay check this is the table one two four eight okay boolean complement this is the not this is the not if you apply this not if you apply this not with the true, then this value will become false. Okay. If you apply this not front of false, it is prefixed. Okay. We said this is the prefix. Then this is become true. Same thing. Okay. So don't worry. Just avoid it. Okay. Here you can see some applicable both Boolean and integral and applicable like that. Okay, here some comparison are there. Source circuit is there, and both arguments should be evaluated always. Here you can see by using a bitwise operator, if you performing both arguments should be evaluated. But when we perform the source circuit, like double and double or like double and double or, so when you get uh, only evaluated first, second is the option now. If first you get in the end case, in the end, in the end. So both in the we take a and we take a and okay and means if both the arguments it's true then output will become true right if you get here true in the and case then this second arguments uh, required to check na? required to check but if you here in the first case we get false then is there any uh, requirement to check is there any a particular region to check second means and operation false it's written a simple false that's why here we have evaluation only first right first whatever and same here in the or case understand in the or case other or case hai guys agar or case humne laga diya na to agar hame first evaluates or case mein kya hota na dono cheeze dono argument dono argument kya hone chahiye hame or case mein no argument or case me agar koi ek argument true hai to result kya aayega true aayega yahan pe agar hame agar hame yahan pe true mil gaya theek hai pehle hi pehle hi case me hame true mil gaya to hame zarurat hona hai second wale ki evaluate karne ki hai na ye kuch bhi ho true ho false ho whatever result kya apna jayega true bas yahi hota hai और सेकंड में क्या है सेकंड में क्या होता है ना इसमें थर्ड वाला एक्सोर क्यों नहीं ऐड है इसमें एक्सोर क्यों नहीं ऐड है गाइस इसमें एक्सोर ऐड है क्यों नहीं ऐड है इसी वजह से नहीं यूज है क्योंकि इन दो केस में ना दो केसेस में हम ऑप्शनल होता है हमारा कि हम एक पैरामीटर एक आर्गुमेंट को एवैल्यूएट करें या ना करें बट एक्सोर में ऐसा नहीं है एक्सोर में क्या होता है ना दोनों चीजें अगर डिफरेंट है ना अगर ये ट्रू है तो ये इसको ही रिजेक्ट करेगा इसको छोड़ेगा नहीं ठीक है और में भी सेम केस रिलेटिवली परफॉर्मेंस इज फास्ट क्यों परफॉर्मेंस फास्ट है भाई इसलिए फास्ट है कि ये दोनों एवैल्यूएट सॉरी स्लो है क्योंकि ये दोनों एवैल्यूएट करता है नेस कंपलसरी है ये यहां पे क्यों पास है रिलेटिवली परफॉर्मेंस इज हाई क्योंकि ये एक एवैल्यूएट करता है एंड के केस में अगर उसे ट्रू मिल गया एंड के केस में उसे फॉल्स मिला तो वो दूसरे के पास जाएगा नहीं फॉल्स मिला तो वो दूसरे पास नहीं जाएगा रिजल्ट फॉल्स दे देगा अगर ट्रू मिला तो वो दूसरे पास जाके चेक करेगा कि दूसरा वाला है कि नहीं ऐसा क्या नहीं तो गलत बोल गया दैट्स व्हाई आई एम व्हेन यू टीचिंग इन इंग्लिश हिंदी ये होता तो एंड में क्या होता है ना एंड में 
पेन यार मेरे एंड में क्या होता है ना एंड अगर मैंने एंड लगा दिया एंड केस लगाया और यहाँ पे ट्रू आ गया और एंड के केस में क्या होता है अगर कोई भी ट्रू है कोई भी ट्रू है नहीं कोई भी फॉल्स है तो रिजल्ट क्या देगा फॉल्स अगर ट्रू है तो रिजल्ट दे देगा तो चेक करेगा उसको दूसरे वाले को अगर फॉल्स है तो वो दूसरे वाले को चेक ही नहीं करेगा राइट फॉल्स दे देगा वो अब ऐसा ही अपोजिट इसमें है और में और में अगर पहले में उसे क्या लिया ट्रू तो वो रिजल्ट सीधा ट्रू देगा वो दूसरे को चेक नहीं करेगा क्योंकि और केस में क्या होता है एक भी रिजल्ट अगर ट्रू है तो आउटपुट शुड भी ट्रू बट एंड में नहीं है अगर एक रिजल्ट ट्रू है तो उसको दूसरा चेक करना ही पड़ेगा शायद दूसरा फॉल्स दोनों मिलके हो जाएंगे तो रिजल्ट बन जाएगा फॉल्स तो यही एक पॉइंट लिखे हैं तो ये एग्जाम्पल है इसको प्रैक्टिस करना ठीक है एग्जांपल देखो टाइप कास्टिंग टाइप कास्टिंग दो टाइप से होती है एक इम्प्लीसिड टाइप कास्टिंग होती है एक्सप्लीसिड टाइप कास्टिंग होती है टाइप कास्टिंग क्या होती है जैसे करेक्टर होता है ना अपना करेक्टर डेटा टाइप का करेक्टर इंटरनली टाइप कास्ट हो जाता है इंटीजर में तभी हमें वैल्यू दिखती है इंटीजर लाइक यूनिकोड ए का यूनिकोड सेवनटीन नाइनटी सेवन है तो नाइनटी सेवन को टाइप कास्ट करके वो दिखाता है तो ये द कंपाइलर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू द टाइप कास्टिंग तो कंपाइलर रिस्पॉन्सिबल होता है इसके लिए हमें कुछ नहीं करना वेन एवर वी आर असाइनिंग लोअर डेटा टाइप वैल्यू टू हायर डेटा टाइप एक मिनट तो टेक अट टेक अट पेन अगेन ओके सो वेन एवर वी आर असाइनिंग लोअर डेटा टाइप वैल्यू टू हायर डेटा टाइप देन मल्टीप्लेसिड टाइप कास्टिंग बिल परफॉर्म क्या बोला अगर हम लोअर डेटा टाइप को जैसे हायर डेटा टाइप को लोअर डेटा टाइप में असाइन करेंगे ना तो टाइप कास्ट होगा जैसे अगर इंट को हम बाइट में असाइन करेंगे तो इसे हमने बाइट करना पड़ेगा राइट ये बोल रहा है ये इंट नहीं टाइप कास्ट होगा लॉस प्रोसीजन लॉस ऑफ राइट डेटा लॉस होगा ठीक है लॉस ऑफ प्रोसीजन सो इट इज आल्सो नोन एज द बाइंडिंग एंड अप कास्टिंग राइट एंड देर इज नो लॉस इंफॉर्मेशन इन दिस टाइप कास्टिंग एक्सप्लिसिट इम्प्लिसिट टाइप कास्टिंग इज नो लाइक लॉस पॉसिबल इम्प्लिसिट टाइप कास्टिंग दिस वी कैन टाइप कास्ट शॉर्ट टू Byte, int, var, float, compiler convert var to int type automatically by implicit type casting, right? Compiler convert into double type automatically by implicit type casting, explicit type casting. Programmer responsibility. ये हमारी responsibility है explicit type cast करने की ठीक है. Whenever we are uh, 
assigning bigger data type value to smaller data type bigger data type value to smaller data type variable then explicitly type casting is required explicitly also known as the narrow winding what is the yd winding this is a narrow winding down casting the up casting this is the down casting you can say okay there may be chance loss of information in this type why because you are a uh, bigger data type value to assigning a smaller data type a smaller data type this bigger data type this if you value having out of the range then that that range will skipped and up to this range jitni isme range hogi na ye range le sakta hai store kar sakta hai ye utna hi data store karega baki ko kya kar dega loss tabhi bol rahe hain yahan pe ki information loss ho sakti hai following various possible conversion with the explicit type casting possible dekho agar uh, sort hai na sort ko agar hum byte mein karenge ye kitne hai 16 byte 16 byte ko agar hum 8 byte mein karenge na तो सिंपल है कि हमारे पास आठ वाइट का डेटा में शॉर्ट हो जाएगा उसी प्रकार इसमें वाइट अगर इंट को हम शॉर्ट में करेंगे सोलह वाइट तो सोलह वाइट में तो कुछ ना कुछ तो लॉस होगा उस रेंज में नहीं होगा इसीलिए इसको कन्वर्जन बोलते हैं डाउन कास्टिंग कन्वर्जन में भी लॉस हो सकता है डेटा देखो एक है एक है ये ठीक है और ये क्या है इंट और हम आसान किस में कर रहे हैं बाइट में ठीक है बाइट की रेंज क्या होती है शायद एक सौ सत्ताईस होती है ठीक है अब इसको हम आसाइन तो इसमें कर देंगे इसमें आसाइन तो इसको कर देंगे कन्वर्ट कर देंगे टाइप पास कर देंगे बाइट में लेकिन ये आसाइन एक सौ सत्ताईस ही होगा इससे ज्यादा नहीं ठीक होता साइन बिट वेन एवर वी आर असाइनिंग हाइर डेटा टाइप वैल्यू टू लोअर डेटा टाइप वैल्यू वेरिएबल by explicit type casting the most significant bit will be lost most significant will kya hoti hai upar significant bit ye hoti hai na jo ye ye hoti hai na ye lost ho jayegi baaki basti hai to ye kuch divide and rule hai dekh lena usko padi padi hai to up to is clear whenever we are assigning floating point value to internal type explicitly type casting the digits of after decimal lost point assignment operators the assignments kya hota hai na assign it jaise hame 10 suppose karo hame 10 kisi variable mein assign karna hai to kya karenge assignment operator use karenge java mein assignment operator equal hai तो हमें टेन को असाइन करना किसी वेरिएबल में तो पहले हम वेरिएबल डिक्लेयर करेंगे एक्स और टेन को असाइन कर देंगे तो एक्स की वैल्यू के एक्स एक डिब्बा एक बन गया और जैसे हमने ये असाइन करा ना तो एक्स के में दस चला गया ठीक है अब एक्स को हम कहीं भी प्रिंट कराएंगे ना तो टेन प्रिंट होगा प्रीवियसली यहाँ पे जीरो होता है जैसे ही हम प्रिंट एक्स करते हैं ना तो ये जीरो होता है ये डिक्लेयर होता है अगर क्लास लेवल पे और मैथड लोकल वेरिएबल इंस्टांस वेरिएबल स्टैटिक वेरिएबल डिवॉल्ट वैल्यू जीरो अगर ये लोकल वेरिएबल है तो आपको डिक्लेयर करना पड़ेगा नॉट एक्सेप्ट जावा विल नॉट असाइन देखो मैथड एरिया अलग होता है इनका ये होता है मैथड एरिया ठीक है क्योंकि मैथड टाइम पे जब होता है ना एवेल्यूएशन मैथड पांच टाइप के एरिया होते हैं मेथड एरिया हीप एरिया स्टैक एरिया हीप नेटिव स्टैक लाइक समथिंग समथिंग सो वही होता है तो ये होते हैं कम ये है कम्बिनेशन कंपाउंड असाइनमेंट समथिंग समटाइम वी मिक्स द असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर विद द सम अदर ऑपरेटर फॉर फ्रॉम द कंपाउंड असाइनमेंट ये होता है कंपाउंड असाइनमेंट ये होता है कंपाउंड असाइनमेंट के ऑपरेटर देख लो भाई ये 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 डबल सेप्ट राइट सेप्ट तो इन द केस ऑफ कंपाउंड असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर इंटरनली टाइप कास्ट विल परफॉर्म ऑटोमेटिकली बाय द कंपाइलर बाय द कंपाइलर टाइप कास्टिंग विल परफॉर्म व्हेन द ऑटोमेट कंपाउंडिंग नाउ देखो देखो यहां पे बाइट का और बाइट बी इक्वल टू 10 है 
तो दो ऑपरेशन परफॉर्म हो रहे हैं यहाँ पे ये इंटीजर दे रहा है अभी दे रहा है ना कंपाइल टाइम एर क्योंकि इंटीजर रिटर्न कर रहा है अभी हमने पढ़ा था ठीक है तो इसे बाइट इक्व टू टेन टेन को प्लस प्लस कर दिया हमने तो काम वही है ये दोनों ऑपरेटर सेम है बट इसमें क्या हो रहा है ना इंक्रीमेंट हो रहा है ये इंटरनली टाइप कर रहा है ठीक तो ये आउटपुट नहीं ये देखो ये कंपाउंडिंग का भी टेन है तो ना दो ऑपरेंट नहीं है ना इसमें दो ऑपरेंट नहीं है इसलिए इंटरनली टाइप पास कर माइनस के कंडीशनल ऑपरेटर्स भी है ठीक देखो टर्नरी ऑपरेटर और इसको बोलता है ये अगर क्या होता है ये ट्रू है तो थर्टी ठीक ये फॉल्स है तो फोर्टी मतलब जब ये ट्रू होता है ना तो इसके पास वाली चीज एक्सिक्यूट हो टर्नरी में और अगर सिंपल ध्यान रखो अगर ये फॉल्स है ना तो इसके बाद वाली कॉलन के बाद वाली एक्सिक्यूट होगी तो अगर इस समय ये कंडीशन क्या है फॉल्स टेन ग्रेटर देन ट्वेंटी होता है नहीं होता तो कंडीशन फॉल्स चालीस प्रिंट हो जाएगा यहाँ देखो टेन ग्रेटर देन ट्वेंटी है नहीं है तो थर्टी चलेगा नहीं यहाँ पे आएगा ये देखेगा फोर्टी ग्रेटर देन फिफ्टी है ये भी कंडीशन फॉल्स है जैसे ये फॉल्स है जैसे ये फॉल्स है तो कौन था सत्तर साठ तो आएगा नहीं सत्तर चलेगा सत्तर प्रिंट हो जाएगा सेवनटीन इज प्रिंटिंग सेम नेक्स्टिंग इज है ऑपरेटर न्यू ऑपरेटर क्या करते हैं यूज़ कहते हैं जावा में जावा में ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएशन के लिए हम न्यू ऑपरेटर को यूज करते हैं डिलीट करने के लिए कोई जरूरत नहीं क्योंकि जावा अगर कलेक्टर दे रखा है एक आदमी है भाई ये पर्सन बहुत समझदार है जैसे इसको नल मिलता है ना खा जाता है ऑब्जेक्ट जावा में ठीक वी कैन यूज दिस गार्बेज कलेक्टर एक अलग टॉपिक है बढ़िया से पढ़ाऊंगा ठीक है तो वी कैन यूजिंग ऑपरेटर टू डिक्लेयर अंडर कंस्ट्रक्ट क्रिएट आ रहे राइट यूजिंग दिस ऑपरेटर जावा प्रेसिडेंस पहले ऑपरेटर्स ब्रैकेट्स दिस दैट वट एवर ब्रैकेट देन पोस्ट इंक्रीमेंट पोस्ट डिक्रीमेंट प्री इंक्रीमेंट पोस्ट प्री डिक्रीमेंट टेल्ड नॉट इक्वल्स टू न्यू दैन टाइप This is the something something. Presidents are there. You can go and check it. So new versus new instance. New is the operator to create the object. No, the class name in the R beginning. The we can create the object by using new operators. Okay. If we know the class name, we can create the object. If we know the class name, we can create the object. If we know the class name, we can create the object. If we know the class name, we can create the object. If we know the class name, we can create the object. तो जब हम नहीं पता होता ना तब हम न्यू स्टांस का यूज करते हैं न्यू स्टांस मेथड तो न्यू स्टांस इज मेथड ऑफ प्रेजेंटिंग क्लास विच कैन बी यूज टू क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट इफ यू डोंट नो द क्लास नेम ऑफ द बिगिनिंग एंड इट्स अवेलेबल डायनेमिकली एट रन टाइम देन वी शुड गो फॉर न्यू स्टांस मेथड लाइक क्लास डॉट फॉर नेम ऑब्जेक्ट का नहीं नाम पता ना तो मैं दे दिया फोन ने आर्गुमेंट के साथ वो क्लास का नेम भी दे देगा ये एग्जांपल मैं दिखा दू करके खुद कर लेना भाई उस मेहनत तो करो ठीक है तो भाई इफ डायनेमिकली प्रोवाइडेड क्लास नेम इज नॉट अवेलेबल देन वी विल गेट क्लास नॉट ओके न्यू इंस्टांस मेथड कंपलसरी करस्पोंडिंग क्लास शुड बी कंटेन आर्गुमेंट आर्गुमेंट राइट तो डिफरेंस बिटवीन न्यू एंड न्यू इंस्टांस मेथड तो न्यू ऑपरेटर टू क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट सिंपल न्यू इंस्टांस मेथड अगर हमें क्लास का नाम नहीं पता है तो डायनेमिकली रन टाइम पे आएगा तो हम इसको यूज कर सकते हैं ठीक है सिंपल चीज ओके If the corresponding class dot class file available at runtime, then we will get runtime exception saying duck found is that not found. Simple to use new operator corresponding class not required to conduct no argument or to use new instance of method to corresponding class should compulsory contain a no argument constructor. Otherwise, we will wise we will get a run. Then this is the difference between this. and you can learn and practice this
and you can also learn this instance of and is instance instance so so instance of operator which can be used to check whether given object is particular type or not if particular type or not we know that that type at beginning is available is instance is a method present in class class we can use instance method to check whether the given object is particular type or not we don't know that the type beginning the available dynamically if a dynamic available then is instance is instance method present in class we can use an instance method to check whether that given object is particular type or not we don't know i think we put it wrong side let's keep it here you can see we created one test system dot out dot to class dot for name arc zero is instance right we don't know that type then at java test true we get okay and java dot test dot string is false we passing something like that we true object is false thank you so this is total our revision is completed operator next we will start some other topic and complete this topic and uh, uh, monday i think the sunday Sunday I will take one integration with that Spring Boot REST API with the UI, right? I will upload this video. Okay, so thank you, thank you for watching. We will meet next some other session.